Well, this is um, a Baroque trumpet. Um, it's fairly new off the press. This one was made by uh, a friend and colleague of mine, Robert Van Rijn. So, as you can see, it's quite shiny. Um, it's a replica of a, uh, an, an instrument um, made by the Ayer family, who were based in Nuremberg. And I suppose the basic thing you would notice straight away about it is that it, it looks quite unlike a modern trumpet, in that it's much longer um, and it doesn't have any valves whatsoever. By using a combination of the valves, we can, produ we can produce a whole chromatic scale. However, on this trumpet, all we can do is play one basic harmonic series, which goes like this. So as you can see, those notes were actually quite spaced out in the, in the lower register, and then they got close together in the high register. So this meant that the trumpet traditionally in its low register, because it can only play a few notes, would play particularly loudly and play lots of fanfare-like, um, really outdoor music, really. So here's an example. So that's the sort of thing that might be played when some member of the nobility arrived um, and it was trumpet became very much a status symbol um, the number of trumpet players you had um, sort of equals today what kind of car you drive um, so trumpet players were the sort of ferraris of the 17th century if you like so as we can hear there the trumpet is playing um, very loudly and very powerfully um, that's something that composers like Bach could use very well at the beginning, for instance, of the Magnificat. We hear the, the trumpet in its, playing its main arpeggio, quite strident in its, in its nature. That sort of beefy sound of the of the of the, um, of the natural trumpet is something that can't really be recreated on a modern trumpet because a modern trumpet is so much shorter. And the length of a tube that it's being played it really affects the sound. Um, so moving on to talk about uh, the trumpet in its upper octave, then suddenly trumpet players found that by using those notes that are close together in a more subtle way um, they could become more florid in their pattern of playing uh, by using different articulations and by playing softer they could then mimic the human voice and a flute and woodwind instruments so they developed this way of playing which baroque composers um, used to the extreme and so if we, if we go back to the uh, Magnificat, we can hear after that opening passage, the trumpet then in its upper octave suddenly starts to play in this very florid-like manner. So now I've got a different trumpet, which is a trumpet that I've had for quite a long time, right about 30 years or so, and this is a trumpet pitched in F. That's quite a unique pitch for a Baroque trumpet in that Bach only ever wrote one piece in F, and that was the Brandenburg Concerto. Um, there were certain other pieces written by other composers in F, but um, nothing went to the sort of stratospheric heights that the Brandenburg does. Um, and also the, the trumpet in that pitch is um, quite delicate, um, particularly the high register, it's difficult, very difficult to play loudly. Um, and it's used in such a way that it's balancing, or has to, should be balancing, with um, the other instruments, the other soloists, a violin, a recorder, 
and an oboe. So the, the trumpet is very much away from the sort of outdoor, sort of fanfare-like instrument, battlefield instrument. It's pretty much as far away as it can get in, this, in the Brandenburg Concerto. And it's now suddenly become a very florid, almost woodwind-like instrument, playing very subtle um, nuances and very subtle phrases at the top of its register. So um, I'll give you a little example of that. So the trumpet continued its development uh, right through to the time when valves were invented. And, uh, you know, there are lots of different inventions, the slide trumpet, the key trumpet, many different types of trumpet, which are, in essence, very different from the modern trumpet, again, l like the natural trumpet, and produce a completely different sound world. So that's something that we try to really recreate, um, getting away from the sort of modern territory of the, of the modern trumpet which is very strident powerful in you know sort of sort of star wars trumpet type playing um, most of the instruments that i play are not like that they, they they're very delicate and you know they can be strident if need be but um, they have their own special character and that's that's the thing that we really try to highlight here at the uh, orchestra of the age of enlightenment <laughs>